Once again, some old shit. Oh, oh shit! See, the law says you're not allowed to love that person. Said a homophobic to a homo sapien. Reading from a book to give him reasons why his love is more like treason, see? He just came in for a marriage license. But now, instead of feeling love, he's feeling violent. And he wants to scream, but he was taught to be silent. On the inside, his pride and morals are causing this riot, and he feels the rumble. His hands start to shake as he feels his walls crumble. There's this inner beast that's been released, but right before it escapes, he just caps it off. Shoves it down for another day. You're an ugly slut, said a bully to Molly, who's only 16 and yeah, she's kissed a guy or two. But when she's alone at night, she wonders if that bully knows what her dad likes to do. Because when she was only 12, he took her innocence. Now this bully is calling her a slut in the bus because of his incompetence? No. She's ready to lose control, make heads roll. She reaches into her bag, he grips her nail file, and bits himself, stabbing him in the neck for a while. But right before that bully's safety's out of reach, she just she caps it off. Thinks back to what they used to teach her about sticks and stones. Now, after a long day of work, this man finally gets home. There's a strange car in the driveway. He opens the front door, and to his surprise, he finds his stranger with his wife turned over sideways, so. He just closes the door going unnoticed. And he walks into the garage, which is open, just hoping that he wakes as he pinches himself. But realizes that now that he's in reality, he grabs the hedge clippers from the shelf. He strips his mind of all fear and hesitation, getting ready to strike, but right before he enters the house, he, he gets a glimpse of his only son's new bike, so he just takes a step back. Then he envisions his wife on hers, bleeding out, and the stranger who was begging for his life who stopped breathing now, and his son's face who after this, would just be an orphan now. So he caps it off, shoves it back down. So this is to all of you who bottle it up. And to those of you who force it to us, I we've had enough. So I'm ready to pull one of these bottles out, pop the cap off, grab a rag, light it, and throw your ass a mouth off. I hope you like your cocktails, the way that you like your insults. It's burning and consuming from the inside. Because our problems aren't being solved here at the bedside now. It's time to react. Unless you have something to say, we're taking our lives back. See, love, it can't be defined by law. And bullies can't be allowed to shove our children down into the crawl, into the cheating spouses. See, we're coming after you all. So we've been mass producing these bottles. Unless you've been playing this game called Life Fairly, one of them perhaps has your name on it for all the horrible things that you do. Now we're standing here with our emotions blazing and ready to return them to you. Thank you.